guys! Welcome back, all you cool alley cats and kittens. <laughs> and if you're not an alley cat, become one. Subscribe. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family so they can become alley cats too. And let's just get into this video. So today's video is a part of a new series and I'm just so excited about it. Like, ah! And it's part of a second collab. Like what? I just had my first collab and now I'm, I'm going right into a second one. This is so exciting. I'm working with like more amazing artists. I'm gonna end up listing everyone on the screen here so you can go and follow them. But I'm so excited to be doing this collab. It is a Disney character collab and I chose to be Maleficent. I've wanted to recreate Maleficent for years. <laughs> Instead of rambling on, I really think we should just get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is one eye off camera. You guys know the drill. I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. And then I'm going to be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to put up the actual scene somewhere in here. This is what my heart wanted. <laughs> Also, I do have contacts in. They are blue though. She has beautiful, like awesome green eyes in the movie and I know those are iconic. I don't have any green contact lenses. I have like these snake ones, but she's not a snake. In the photos, I'm gonna end up editing them to be green because iconic, they have to be green. First, I primed my eyes and I primed them with what I always use, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So I'm using the Iconic London Day to Slay palette. And we're gonna be starting out with the shade In the Nude. And really with this color, I'm just like laying it all over my lid. This is just gonna make the other shades easier to blend out. So I'm just taking this everywhere. You don't have to be very careful with this shade. And then we'll be going into the shade Taupe to Taupe. I'm going in with a Morphe crease brush. And I'm taking this into the crease and bringing it toward the hairline and really in this area here with um, really deepening up the brow bone area. A smaller brush, a Luxie 121 Mini Tapered, and I'm using that to go up underneath the lash line. And we're taking that all the way into the inner corner. The next shade we'll be going into is Deep Soul. Using that same brush, we're gonna be going over the outer corner, the crease, and really deepening up the inner brow bone right next to the nose. Now also bringing that shade up underneath the lash line, going back in the shade taupe to taupe with that big crease brush, and I'm gonna be blending out all of these edges. Ooh, I feel villainous already. <laughs> now we're gonna be going into the Jawbreaker palette and using the shade Lemon Drop. Going in with this small dose of colors brush, I believe it came in a palette, and I'm picking up that product and putting it into my inner corner. I'm also taking that up right very close to my lash line, about halfway. I'm also taking this right in the very center of my eyelid and right on my brow bone as well. I'm going over that with another shade to highlight. And this one's back to the Iconic London palette, and it's the shade Icon. Now I'm going to be taking a MAC 263 brush, going into that dark brown shade Deep Soul, and I'm going to extend my inner corner. So now we're going to be going into the Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. And we're going into the black shade. It's my rides here. Using that same liner brush, I'm just going to help define that inner corner a little more. I'm also going to start lining all the way across my lid. Now I'm going to create a wing. I'm going to be taking that same black shade and I'm going to really contour the eye bags. Angelina Jolie has natural fullness up underneath her lash line, and I'm trying to recreate that. 
I'm going in with a brand new product. I just opened this. I'm really excited about it. This is a Glimmer Gel from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. Now, I want to feature her in a whole video on her own, this brand. It's an amazing small indie brand, and you guys should definitely check them out. I'm using the shade Anticipation. I'm applying this with a Morphe E37 brush, taking very little product, and I'm going to be going over the inner corner, avoiding that little um, line, the extended corner that we created, going up underneath the lash line, and in the center of my lid. It dries down on its own, and it's such a beautiful shade. I'm going in with that dark brown again, and I'm just going to blend out those edges. And now, to create all these lines over here, I'm using that Dose of Colors brush, but instead of the small end that we used before, I'm using the other end. Going right into Deep Soul, that brown, I'm going to start creating little smoky lines. So the way I did this, I kind of mapped it from my crease here, and then brought it forward which I don't want both sides to be identical, so I'm not going to try and fully recreate it, but you'll see the technique. Now to really accent them and add a little more depth, I'm going to be going back into the shade black. I'm going in with that liner brush to be a little more detailed. Where I started those lines. Also in the center of them, I'm trying not to be too perfect here. I don't want them to be perfect. I want it to just be an accent creating tiny little accent lines with the black, and that's it for the eyes. Besides lashes, of course, I'm going to go up to the brows now. For the eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe, using a Sedona Lace EB17 brush. I'm starting with the arch, because I don't have a natural high arch like she does. I had to create this, so I want to start there so I can map it out. Good enough shape to start out with so I'm going to go with that black shadow just using my rides here again from um, the conspiracy palette and sh just deepening up everything but kind of acting like you're filling in your brows normally these are definitely not my normal eyebrows <laughs> onto the face I think that's the fun part Getting these cheekbones in check. Contouring! I've been so excited to start this part of it because, like, I just want those cheekbones right now on my face. So let's do this. I'm going to be using eyeshadows to do this. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. First, I'm going to be using a taupe shade. Yes, this is a dirty, well-used palette. It is loved. It has been used so much. <laughs> Lately, to contour, I've been using a Morphe eyeshadow brush because it's perfect. I'll explain in a moment, but this is the Morphe R38. I love how small it is. You can be really precise with this, which is going to be really good for what we about to do. Obviously, in the movie, she's using prosthetics. I decided against that. I decided to do this makeup yesterday and was invited to be a part of the collab like yesterday. So <laughs> I didn't have a ton of time to prepare. So I'm just going to be contouring the hell, the living hell out of my cheekbones to make them look like that. We're starting up high, really high. I'm kind of mapping out how I want the cheekbone to be. that shadow. We're going to just keep deepening it up. I'm going to take a smaller brush. So we're going to be using that Dose of Colors brush that we used earlier and we're going to be going back into the Kat Von D palette and using this shade. 
So using that shade to really deepen up the area that we just defined. This is going to look insane. Just trust the process because it's going to look crazy. <laughs> going back in with taupe. And we're going to start blending. We're keeping that top line rigid and harsh, but then blending everything that's coming up underneath taking the edge of the brush and no other product is on it and I'm just softly going over top of the line to blend out the top of it just slightly. I'm going to go in with a light powder and I'm going to start highlighting over top and my jawline. For me, because I'm super freaking pale, I'm just going to use the shade Virgin from the Jawbreaker palette. I'm using this Morphe E21 brush. I'm just going to highlight my jawbone going over top of the cheekbone as well. You can see that's going to start blending this in. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on the other side and I'm going to be right back. Oh, I'm feeling like a skinny legend. Oh, it looks so terrifying. I just did the same to the other side. I softened the edges here because I it was... That was a bit strong. And I contoured my jawline on this side, so I'm going to show you how I did that. Using that same taupe shade, and we're going right next to the ear, right on the outside of the jawbone. And then right up underneath the jawbone too, right over top of it. So now I'm going to be contouring my forehead, and I'm just contouring my temple and the side of my forehead. For the temple, I just tapped the taupe shade over top of the detail of the eye very lightly so you don't disturb it. And I plan on going over all of those lines again anyways because they've been lost in the blending process. Oh, it's terrifying. Okay, I'm sorry. Like staring at myself. <laughs> so for my nose, I'm using a crown brush. This is the C513. I'm contouring my nose to look thinner and more structured. I'm going down right beside my nose, going to my tip, because I have a really rounded tip here. I'm going to cut that just a little bit and make almost like a angle here. I'm going along the bottom to shorten my nose too. Once I'm happy with it, I can start the blending process. I'm going to be using that same virgin white shadow. I'm going down the center of my nose with it. But I'm also going to be blending out the edges with it. So looking at images, I noticed that her cheekbones were very rounded in the front too. So I wanted to create that for myself. So I'm using that same brush that I used to contour my nose. And I'm creating pretty much nasal labial folds. And rounding up the cheekbone to create more of an apple appearance. So I'm going from my nose here. And then creating kind of like a U shape. I'm pretty much creating a different face shape here and I'm starting to freak myself out. Looking at myself, oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I look so different. It's freaking me out. Okay, it's fine. I don't know who she is over there. I don't know who she is. Okay, I'm really going in and I'm blending like crazy here. Weird, holy fuck, what the fuck is that? Okay, sorry. I'm cussing a whole lot. Who is that? Okay, everything's fine. Now to highlight. Oh my god. I don't want to use anything like too glittery or shimmery. So I'm just going to use a clear liquid highlighter. This is the Beauty Blender Glass Glow Shine Lighter. Ooh, I'm learning the hard way that this product does not like going over top of powder. Mm. I look like a scary man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, bitch. I keep saying, oh, it's going to come together. I know it's scary. But this looks terrifying. I don't know. I really hope it comes together. We're going to be here together through this process. I'm so scared of myself right now. <laughs> I can't stop staring at myself. Okay, I just want to put the little mole that Angelina has 
in the movie, she has, like, this mole up above her eye. I think she always just has that. I think that's just her mole. But I want to have it, too. Okay. I just want a mole, too. I like moles. <laughs> she has it, like, right up above her brow. Nice little mole. Obviously, I have to do the iconic red lip. Guys, I'm freaked out by my face. Okay, I'm freaked the fuck out. It looks weird. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. First, we're going. <laughs> First, we're going to create the lip shape. So I'm going to do this with a Sephora gel lip liner, and it's in the shade molasses. I'm going to extend my lips out. Right at the inner corners, or outer corners, and overdraw my lip. Yes, it looks like I have a mustache. Trust the process. <laughs> and I'm going to be going... <laughs> wow, I look like Gomez. Then I'm going to be going in with a red liquid lipstick. This is from the brand Magnolia Makeup in the shade Matador. I look like Gomez. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so now to create the lines in the lips. Angelina's lips are so full and amazing. She has like this crack down the center of the lip and two lines on the top lip as well. So I'm going to be using that brown liner to create this effect. I'm going to do that and then use the eyeshadow brush from earlier and blend it. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and tight line with this as well. I'm using the Esquito Gel Eyeliner in black. So now I'm going to be popping on some lashes and I'll be right back. Ooh, are you guys ready? Let's do this. I'm gonna try and make this quick because these wings are attached around my neck and I can't really breathe. Uh, like I said, I agreed to do this collab yesterday. Everything was really thrown together really fast. I already had black wings in my closet, of course. Who doesn't? <laughs> Everyone has black wings. I had a black wig and I did not have horns. Did not. Nope. I made these horns out of Christmas tree branches that I wrapped around a headband and then I put the headband on top of the wig and then I wrapped hair around the tree branches until it was spiraled and looked like horns. I feel like a badass. I feel like I could cast spells. This is the second video in my Disney series. The first one is going to technically be out already. And it's the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And what's going to be next? I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you want to see next? What Disney character do you want me to recreate? Thank you guys so much for watching. And subscribe. If you're not an alley cat, become one. Alley cat. <laughs> Please subscribe. Like this video. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post. I post every Friday. Share it with your friends and family so they can become alley cats too. I love you guys. Bye!